Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you some useful applications via Hackintosh. So this is a Hackintosh the new way, um, and you can see I've got some apps on the screen. So the first one is Brute. So Brute is a package manager for Hackintosh uh, that you run from the terminal. So uh, this is the link right here. So it's just brew.sh on Chrome. And basically you just run this command in terminal. So if we just open up terminal, paste that in, and then type in the password, the pseudo password, and then press enter, and then we'll give that a moment. But whilst that's downloaded, we'll check out some other um, software. The next one is hacking tool. So this is the perfect tool for diagnosing your hacking tosh. Um, and basically you uh, can use it to find out some system information like this. You can see it's seen the GPU um, and things like that. You can see what serial number you're using, what model. Uh, so I've got it as the iMac Pro at the moment. The peripherals connected. And then there's loads of options at the top, like some boot configuration. Um, and it'll tell you that that, oh yeah, you, you've got an open core update, for example. Um, and this is how to patch your Intel graphics. So you'd put in your um, actual generation of Intel and then click refresh and then it would show up there. And then you can do other stuff like that, even uh, inject the DID of the device um, and yeah that's pretty much it you can see the disks and stuff like that but that's hacking tool next you will have all heard of this open core configurator so this allows you to do everything uh, Hackintosh basically it's an essential tool it allows you to edit your EFI and you can um, set your boot up your device properties uh, some kernel extensions, so if you want your, for example, uh, USB injected um, and there's some options, default options down there um, some uh, options about the clo uh, the open core bootloader um, such as the timeout when it's going to actually start some NVRAM stuff um, and then some general audio, for example, play the chime so you can have it where it plays the macOS um, chime and then platform infos s and bios and memory and some generic nvram stuff so you can see it does uh, take quite a while because it downloads the command line tools for xcode um, but the next piece of software i'm actually using right now um, so it's called shermouse so shermouse allows you to show the mouse and keyboard of your host machine to this hackintosh so i've got two monitors right now um, one's got my main PC on, my workstation that I'm recording this video off, the screen recording. And then obviously on my left monitor I've got this Hackintosh VM. So, um, basically it allows me to just drag across uh, my mouse and keyboard to my host machine. Um, and I can still do the commands, you know, like I would on a normal Mac. But, um, with the free license obviously you do have some um, some functions that won't work so if we look here on the paid version you can actually um, uh, copy and paste things across but you can change some stuff here and this just um, is for one computer and the other uh, on the free version so you can't do uh, much stuff with the free version but it's definitely worth checking out especially if you just want to pass through keyboard and mouse uh, very easily and switch between it also uh, up makes you avoid buying a KVM switch as well so um, I will get back to you at once uh, Brew's installed because we're going to actually be using Brew for the next thing called stats so let's do that so you can see it's now installed and basically to install stats what we're going to do is brew install stats it's as easy as that basically brew is like uh, apt on ubuntu and debian so it's just like that but for mac os you can see i'm downloading a package now called stats and i'll explain what that is once it's installed it shouldn't take that long to install 
But basically, it's um, it saves you going on the internet and downloading packages. You can do it right from the terminal, especially if you like CLI stuff like that. Um, but basically, I'll just give you a quick uh, overview of what it is whilst it actually installs. Basically, stats allows you to see your CPU, memory, memory, um, network, and disk usage. I said memory there twice. Apologies for that. Basically, um, it shows it in the menu bar at the top here. So that's useful if, for example, you're doing benchmarking or whatever, or something's using your disk. You can check, which I'll show you in a moment when it actually does it. Um, but it's pr it's pretty great. Um, I use it on my main Hackintosh that I might show at the end. Um, just a quick demo of what mine looks like. You can see it's installing it now. Um, you can see successfully installed. So if we go to uh, Launchpad, you can see stats there. If I click on that, just close up terminal now, we don't need it. And then do the obvious open. You'll see soon at the top, you obviously wanted to allow it Bluetooth and things, but you can have it where it starts automatically, so let's do that. Run it in the background, obviously, and click finish. You can see at the top there, that's what it's looking like, so it shows you the percentage used on the SSD and what's using it. It won't show me as of yet because it's just uh, doing its queries. So with the CPU, you can see stats and share messages up there, Bluetooth, same with memory, Windows Server, Google Chrome, stuff like that. And it just basically stays at the top. And you can actually customize it. So if I do that, and I want that as my network instead, I can have that as my network. It's entirely up to you. And that's a fully free program. So I'm just going to show you uh, my Hackintosh now um, and what I have uh, on it that makes my videos possible. So let's do that. So you can see it's booting up now, my main Hackintosh. Uh, I've got this as started boot, so when my uh, machine turns on, uh, it, it basically boots up, uh, ready for me to use. Um, basically, we're gonna just load into the desktop. Um, you can see, and you can see some of the things at the bottom. So I've got iServices working, so iMessage, FaceTime, um, App Store, things like that. And also, um, if I go to about this Mac, apologies for that send there, that is my PC telling me that SureMouse is uh, available. So, you can see that I've got apparently an i5, so it's a quad-core i7-2600, and I've assigned 8 gigs of RAM with the RAM frequencies fixed here, and also the GT632 gigabyte. You can see, um, basically, I've got Final Cut and Canva down here and my Discord obviously to chat to all of you with help um, and a direct connection to my NAS too um, and you can see stats up there but yeah um, that's going to be it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and consider subscribing also if you need any help or suggestions please do join the Discord from the link below thanks for watching goodbye